So basically this video shows you how to recover your MacBook Pro um, after a water spill or damage. If perchance this happens, do not panic. The first thing you need to do is to isolate the power source from the mains or the MagSafe power adapter. And if a MacBook Pro is running on battery, um, press the power source, hit the power button on the MacBook Pro to turn off your computer. This essentially is to prevent a short circuit or further damage to your motherboard or other components that's in your computer. When isolating from these three power connection points, ensure that your hands are dried to prevent electrocution. Also, you could use um, rubber flip-flops or slippers. And if you want to go a step further, you could employ the use of safety boots. This essentially is to prevent electrocution or you know your body serving as ground um, to earth as current essentially follows the least resistance flow path. But take cognizance that it is of utmost importance that the isolation is done pretty quickly, as quickly as possible. And it is paramount that safety first is considered before troubleshooting steps are employed. In this case, I had the water spill and it is common knowledge that water and dust are fraternal enemies of any computer. So as soon as you have an accumulation of water um, or any corrosive um, liquid on your computer, one has to take pragmatic steps to eliminate um, the water content or the solvent. So in this case, the computer was sat at the window of the bathroom while a splash of water from the bathtub got onto the keyboards of the computer. It should never have been there in the first place because water, with respect to your computer, is a foreign object debris. So in this instance, I quickly dried my hands with a towel and hit the power button and flicked my computer to the vertical position to form it like a triangle. And, you know, I laid that flat. I laid that, you know, in this position onto a cotton mat. This essentially is to prevent the frying of the motherboard or a short circuit and also to allow the acceleration due to gravity to, to forcefully pull the water um, in a downward direction from the computer. I had quite a steady flow of water which essentially means that the keyboard um, you know was, was perforated or you know was permeable you know it, it does allow water to, to flow through it's not it's not you know waterproof. I allowed, you know, the water, a substantial amount of the water to flow through for about 30 minutes. And when I was satisfied that, you know, there wasn't any more, you know, water dripping from the um, computer, um, I opened up the computer to dry out water that may have been trapped, um, you know, in the computer from the um, bottom case. So basically, I disconnected the battery, uh, removed um, the RAM. Um, and allow the my computer to um, dry out for about a week um, because on the third or fourth day I didn't have any power so I left it to dry out for about a week and after a week I had power you know come back to my um, computer so when I opened my computer I still found you know water on the inside which I dried out with a towel I also used um, a fan to, you know, I placed it, you know, just behind my computer to, to dry um, the motherboard out. Do not use the heating fan setting on the fan as this um, could cause static. Instead, use the nominal or the normal fan setting. So I found out that despite using, you know, the fan setting to um, aid the drying out of the water on my computer, um, I still didn't have any power, you know, on my computer. So I decided to um, take my computer, you know, with the bottom case out um, into my car. You know, I put it at the feet of the, um, of the car where you would usually have your um, foot mat. So I placed it in this position, you know, in the triangular position. Um, and, you know, I used like a towel to, to cover my computer, you know, from, you know, the direct sunlight, which can cause static. And also, you know, from pairing eyes, because you do not want something of substantial worth to, to be visible to just about anyone you know that's going past your car so you know by all means make it obscure to anyone you know passing by your car but the idea is you know to get the heat in 
that's contained in your vehicle or your car to heat up you know your computer you know and after one week my computer was back to full throttle if yours is just like a water spill then you can get the MacSafe's repair guy to um, use chemicals to to flush out or clean out certain components but if it's a corrosive liquid like coke um, or a mixture of some solvent then it's a totally different case you might want to disconnect the battery and you know pour water um, through the keyboard to dissolve the corrosive um, um, element or the corrosive liquid um, if you're uncomfortable with doing that then I'd suggest that you know you get the expertise of a service repair person um, but basically the idea is if you want to salvage your computer you know get an expert to have a look at your computer you know to, to increase the chances of you you know retrieving your computer for tips on how to take out your battery and to take out the bottom case click on the links in the description below if you found the information in this video useful don't forget to subscribe like and share and hopefully catch up with you soon goodbye